Hello, I would like to present you the new firmware for A157B and of course all the new panel. It's black. It has the same functionality as the original panel, but some of the functions have another name. For instance, uh, accent is now called uh, step. Uh, but as I said, the function is the same and you can switch between the original panel and the new panel with a new system parameter. It's called panel. And A is the original panel, it's the default value, and B is the new panel with the new arrangement of the functionality. One change of um, the new firmware is in the single mode, when you change patterns, the, um, the behavior is a bit different. It is, I think it's better for uh, live uh, performances. So if you change the pattern, the first pattern first will be played until the end, and then the second pattern starts. Uh, for instance, if you have this pattern here, and if I change now the pattern, the first is played, and then the second comes. If you'd like to have another behavior as before, with an immediate change, you can press this button twice. So one, twice, and then the change takes place immediately. The second new feature is a new rudiment. We already had um, using this step function, it's called accent uh, on the old uh, panel. We had the, the rudiment accent and role it was called ratchet and probability. So you can have this pattern for instance, um, the layer accent and you press here the accent of this step is set or roll, ratchet, and if you press here, you have a roll effect. And probability. And now you have a, a new layer, a fourth layer, flame. And with this rudiment, you can move the step a little bit. So in this case, for instance, you don't hear the difference between this tom tom and this bass drum. It's like the same um, stroke because they are so close together. And with this flame effect, I can move the tom tom a little bit. So or a bit more. The first level is an eighth of the length of this step. The second level is a fourth of this step. And the third level are, well, this is the original frame effect, are two strokes very close together. Well, and finally, the new firmware also supports the new extension module A157M. This is MIDI out. Well, I know the label says MIDI in, I have to fix this. This is MIDI out. And if I start now the sequence, and well, I switched off my normal drum modules, you hear nothing. But now we have here a new setting called MIDI. And if I switch this on, um, all tracks and all steps will go, will be output here with this MIDI. And I roll on here, then we'll play these steps. I can show you up here different sets. Well, this is play MIDI. You can uh, configure the output a bit. Well, first you have here like a small button to reset MIDI. If you push this, push this button here, then complete MIDI will be reset. And you can uh, change the, the notes used by the different tracks. 
So if I press this little arrow here, I see track number one will be uh, output with the note 42, the MIDI note 42. And I think this is an, uh, an open hi-hat. And the track number two is 47, 46, 47, and so on and so on. So you can change the assignment of the tracks to the MIDI instruments uh, with this function here. And then with this arrow back, you see, <laughs> you can go back to your um, normal setting screen. This is one possibility to use this MIDI out. So just output the steps as MIDI notes. Then there is a second option here, and this is the MIDI clock. In this case, you I can well switch off now the MIDI notes and the MIDI clock, then only uh, will output the clock signal with uh, 24 uh, pulses per quarter note. Uh, so one quarter note will then generate 24 uh, pulses. And maybe you see it here in this mode now. Um, this Roland do not use his internal uh, clock, but it uses then the clock or the output of the A 157B. Well, the new software you can, of course, download from a website. Um, and if I have, let's say, 20 pre orders for this panel and also for the extension module, I will start production of these. So Unfortunately, the prices are very high. Sorry for that. The panel will cost around $90. Well, sorry, it's just the production. It's just uh, the making of this panel with all these little holes. And uh, it's pretty expensive. And the module will cost around $50. Uh, so if you're interested, please send me an email. If I have, let's say, 20 pre-orders, I would start the production. Sorry again for the high prices. It's uh, just uh, the, the, the production costs that are so high. Thank you very much and goodbye.